What is up guys? Welcome back to another average video. Um, I've been doing a lot of recording and uh, I had a video that was pretty much ready to go but um, unfortunately uh, there were some things that came up that uh, I wasn't comfortable with posting quite yet. Um, a lot of you guys don't know this, some of my friends might know this, Jess ended up adopting a eight-year-old black lab and um, his name is Franklin. He's a very good boy. I put up a fence for him, we we made the house dog friendly, and um, he ended up passing away on Tuesday, I believe, uh, from complications with uh, some of the neutering that was done at the shelter, and it's been very hard on us, and in the last video that I had done, there was quite a bit of uh, Franklin footage in that video, so that's kind of why I, uh, I'm going to be cutting some of it out. but. Today's a fresh start. I'll, I'll start out by showing you some of the stuff that we have done on the trailer because I've gotten quite far on it. Not terribly far, but more than you guys have seen. So we're going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to be working on the trailer today and uh, starting out with uh, Jesse and I got some of the roofing done, which was super helpful. Thanks, Jesse, for helping me out. Um, yeah, and then today we're going to get some more done. So thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And let's have a good day. Alrighty, so this is the inside of the trailer. We've got a lot of wires hanging and all that stuff. You guys saw me do some of that wiring. This wall is fully installed, insulation, um, and then the plywood right here. Um, this wall is gonna be more of a load wall. Uh, I think I'm gonna hang a couple things off the side of this wall. This one's gonna have a little bit smaller, uh, thinner wood because I'm not gonna hang as much stuff. This is where we'll just be like, we'll be butted up here sitting. So. That's kind of the plan for that. I've got the lower insulation ready. Now I've got to put a piece of wood over it and then get the higher insulation and then just kind of keep working my way around. Um, I had that installed last time I think that you were here. Mainly just all the wiring is what I've been working on. So, and then obviously the rest of this wall. So let's keep up working on it. Let's go. Let's see if that's a good shot or not. So as you can see, these are the thicknesses of the wood. This is the wood that I just got, about that thick. That's what I had on the other wall. So a little bit of difference. Um, I just wanted this one to be able to like hold, like if I like flip down a table or something, this will be able to hold a little thicker. This is kind of just like to cover up the insulation that will make it look pretty. So three sheets of those. We'll probably get all three of those hung up today. And uh, yeah, and then I got one more sheet of insulation. I might need more of this, but uh, for right now we're good to go. I could have been close. Look at that, boys. <laughs> Burn the, <laughs> the insulation. <laughs> it fell on my buddy here right there. Burn the shit out of it. <laughs> oh, that's fing rock salad, though. Jeez, oh, dude. Alrighty, there she is. That's the wall. I can't really see it super well. Let me move the light up and down. Ran into a couple issues, but uh, all in all, got it pretty good. Um, this is the other side. Kind of ran into an issue, um, and it's pretty much my fault. When I had gotten the trailer, it was, when I when I got the trailer, it was a tornado. Uh, it had been through a tornado. So there's a lot, a lot of things that 
you know, you can patch here and patch there, but the biggest issue that I've ran into is that things aren't square. So like I'm used to cutting, you know, 44 by 24 and it's and it's a perfect square and it going right into place. Well, this one, you almost have to measure at an angle. So like one side will be 44 inches and the other side will be like 43 inches. So when you cut, it has to be like at an angle. And I think that's just because this thing had been through a tornado, it had kind of oscillated, but it's gonna work out perfectly fine for what I'm doing for it or what I'm doing with it. Uh, ice fishing, obviously. So it's it doesn't have to be super pretty. Basically just has to keep me warm and uh, let me make videos in it. So uh, I gotta run to the store, I think real quick, but um, yeah, that's kind of an overview of what it looks like now. Um, I don't know if you can see the back. This is the back doors. Uh, this. I'm kind of worried that I'm going to hit my head if I put any wood up here, but I pretty much have to. I'm going to go look to see if they have any panels that uh, will fit across here. It's 68 across the top, and I'm pretty sure they don't make any panels like that. Usually they do it like in feet, so like four feet, five feet, six feet, but we're going to see. I don't have a table saw, so I can't cut it like perfect but we'll see what we can do. So, all right, stay tuned.